undisputed champion, all four belts. Describe the feeling. Um, uh, I gotta thank God. And this is for um, my boy that passed away earlier this year, two days before Kobe passed away. May, may Kobe rest in peace. Um, this is for Dione. And um, I had to dig deep, man. Um, I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and each and every day I take that in. Um, I thank God first, man, because I couldn't do it without him. I walked by faith for a reason, and I had to dig in there. And in now, that, uh, it feels good. In that 11th round, right before you came out for the 12th, your father said, you've got the victory. Just go out there and box, but you didn't do that. Why? I'm a fighter, I gotta dig in deep. I know he was coming. I can't give him that. I don't know if they got him up on the scorecards or not. And I love to fight. I could bang, too. I don't care, man. I'll take one to give one. And uh, that's what a true champion does. I come out there and I find a way to win. You and your father called for this fight. And you were supremely confident that you saw something in Lomachenko that you could exploit. What was it? Um, honestly, you just got to keep pressuring him. Keep, keep putting the gas on him. And then all, all you got to really do, man, is stick the jab. Don't really give him that opportunity to set up. And every time he did want to throw, I had something ready for him. At least something throw. So it kind of stops his momentum. And you know, on top of that, he's been on a 14-month layoff. I knew he was gonna have to, it was gonna take a long time for him to catch up. Now, you've got all the belts at lightweight. Yeah. You said you want all the biggest challenges, all the biggest names. Yeah. So what is that you want next? Um, man, take me to 140. I could go and get a, uh, you know, or I could fight, you know, uh, the two-time email world champion, Devin Haney. You know, um, if they want that, you know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love messing with everybody, man. Um, but all it is, man, the takeover, man, it's time for the new generation to come up. And it was me to lead the way for everybody. Shakur Stevenson, um, who else? Uh, Edgar Belanga, Jose Vargas, um, so many cats out there, man, they're ready to take over the world.